Hello everyone, welcome to Asmi's eSchool. So we were discussing about the unit 1 of your logic and philosophy book and we have already discussed a lot. So if you have not watched it then go and watch that because we have already discussed about inductive inference deductive inference and your uh, types and everything so if you don't watch it then you won't understand what we are going to discuss in this video so first you watch those videos then you proceed with this one okay and if you already know deduction and induction then you can directly watch it so let's get started we will discuss about the relation between scientific and unscientific induction and we have already discussed what is scientific what is unscientific and if you don't remember then i will just tell you quickly so when we talk about scientific induction in scientific induction, uh, we try to establish a general real proposition based on observation of particular instances and in reliance on principle of uniformity of nature and law of causation. So, we use two of the laws and we observe the things and then we try to give an we try to give a universal real truth. And in case of unscientific induction, what we do, we don't use these laws. We try to get the real proposition, general real proposition on the basis of uniform or uncontradicted experiences. Okay. We will see what are the difference or are the similarities between all these two. If you have watched my videos, then I have already told you that scientific and unscientific has many similarities because both these both of these are induction proper the these are types of induction proper so the basic things are same in both of them okay they both have inductively they always try to get an universal real conclusion or real truth these basis are same okay so when you know the definitions and the basic things you can write the similarity similarities these similarities on your own okay and and hate will be kitapot so let's see the first point both scientific induction and unscientific induction establish general real proposition so i told you both are induction type of induction right so they will always try to get get an they they will always try to get a universal real proposition okay then next point both scientific induction and unscientific induction are based on observation of facts. Obviously, they will observe the facts. Okay, they might follow the laws or not, but they will observe the thing. They will observe the facts. Right, so both these are based on observation of facts. And they both arrive at general real proposition on observation of particular instances. Okay next in both kind both the kinds of induction there is inductive leap okay there will be inductive leap because these are induction proper right if we are talk talking about if we are talking about induction proper then there will be always an inductive leap if there is no inductive leap then it won't be a part of induction proper right so if it is a part of induction proper there will be a leak remember that leap maniki for example ram is mortal and we are concluding that all men are mortal from ram jodu modhu etc we are getting all from some we are getting all it is a jump so there is a jump this jump is called as inductive leap. So, if there is an inductive leap, that will be then it will be called as induc induction proper. Okay. Then let's talk about the uh, dissimilarity points of dissimilarity. Scientific induction is based on two observation: simple, 
simple observation and experiment to remember this one so when we talk about scientific induction scientific the word itself describes it so if it is scientific there must be an experiment okay so when we talk about the scientific induction there will be observation plus experiment simple observation plus experiment but in case of unscientific induction it will be based on only simple observation not on any experiment okay scientific induction is grounded on the principle of uniformity of nature and the law of causation so i have told you numerous times about these laws so you cannot forget this okay and uh, unscientific induction doesn't base on these laws okay then uh, the process of scientific induction is complex as it involves observation formation of hypothesis generalization verification etc but the process of unscientific induction is simple so when we talk about the experiment so if you are doing experiment it will be longer and complicated complex process and in case of unscientific it is very simple simple observation and you can also remember these points okay so someone might ask you what are the process what is the process of scientific induction in case of scientific induction we go through a process first is simple observation after that formation of hypothesis after that generalization and verification okay these are the steps we follow in case of in case of scientific scientific induction and the last point is the conclusion of scientific induction is certain as it is based on law of causation but there is no attempt to establish a causal connection in unscientific induction so conclusion is probable only so jetia ami experimenter kotha ko experimenter kotha kua mane ki experiment bilak amar scientific hoy aru tar amar answer bilak je bilak pam he bilak ki hobo certain hobo aru yat ami jehetu we will use the law of causation so we will try to establish a causal connection if we are trying to establish a causal connection the probability will increase okay so the conclusion will be certain in nature but in case of un unscientific induction the conclusion is the conclusion will be probable in nature okay now let's talk about analogy and scientific induction there are different similarity and dissimilarity between these two also and analogy is also a part of induction proper so the basic similarities will be same both analogy and scientific induction are forms of induction proper and there will be inductive leap okay and both analogy scientific induction are based on observation obviously there will be observation and in analogy we first observe that one thing resembles another in some properties and if we talk about analogy do you remember the definition in analogy we try to establish um, the we try to see the resemblance between two things if three to four properties are similar between two things then we can conclude that other properties will be similar to or will be present to that was analogy so in case of analogy we will observe the thing first and then uh, we will try to resemble the properties with one another but in case of scientific there will be general observation simple observation after that there will be experiment and it will be based on the laws these all the uh, these all are the uh, things okay and when you are talking about observation you can write that uh, both of these has 
observations you can write that but in this similarity what you will write you will write the difference that in case of observation it is very different because in one we try to resemble one another but in case of scientific we uh, go through a long process complex process okay so if you see the points of this similarity first one is in analogy we proceed from particular to particular while in scientific induction we proceed from particular to general okay uh, in analogy when we conclude something that that is mostly to particular okay there will be inductive jump but but inductive leap but it will be partic from particular to particular because we will be comparing two things okay but in case of scientific we know that we get a general thing right from a particular thing we move to the general in analogy there is no knowledge of causal connection but scientific induction is based on the knowledge of causal connection because it follows the law of causation okay the conclusion of analogy is probable and it is not best because it is not based on causal connections but in case of scientific you know already right so these are the similarities and dissimilarities and in case of uh, unscientific also we will see the uh, points of similarity both analogy and unscientific induction are uh, form of induction proper so there will be inductive leap both analogy and unscientific inductions are based on observation so both these uh, similarities are same with scientific and analogy right so the third point is both in both analogy and unscientific induction there is no attempt to establish a causal connection so ami duta te ki koru causal connection establish kori bole try no koru okay because both these laws does not follow the law of causation okay that will be the second point okay then both analogy and unscientific induction are great sources of hypothesis so these are the source of hypothesis because uh, the results we get the conclusion we get are not certain in nature they are probable in nature and these hypothesis can be used in scientific induction further okay for points of this similarity in analogy we pass from one particular to another particular but in unscientific we pass from particular to general in case of this point in case of getting a general conclusion this is similar between scientific and unscientific in unscientific also we get a general sentence from the particular right but in case of analogy in case of analogy we go from uh, from particular to a particular because we will be comparing the basis of analogy is imperfect similarity while the basis of unscientific induction is uncontradicted experience this word you remember this word okay uncontradicted experience in case of unscientific we deal with the un contradicted experiences but in case of analogy we will deal with the similarity which are imperfect imperfect in nature then the last point is although both conclusions of analogy and unscientific inductions are probable yet the probability of analogical conclusion depends mainly on the number and importance of the known points of the resemblance in unscientific induction the probability of the conclusion depends on the number of particular instances which are collected by observation on the basis of uncontradicted experience so uh, when we talk about the conclusion in in case of both analogy and unscientific we get a probable result right probable conclusion but the probability will differ it will depend on the observation okay in case of analogy it will depend on it will depend on the comparison or it will depend on the properties or the similarities or resemblance 
it will depend on the comparison of the properties but in case of unscientific one it will depend on the uncontradicted uncontradicted experiences the observation on the basis of uncontradicted experiences okay so the conclusion might vary and the last point is analogy deals with the connotation of a term it increases our knowledge of connotation of term but unscientific induction deals with the denotation of a term so that's all for today we have discussed about the similarities and dissimilarities between uh, different induction proper in the next video we will discuss about the question answers i i won't give you the answers in written form but i will discuss the answers with you so that you can easily write it from the book by yourself okay so this is it for today we'll see you in the next one bye bye